So we'll look ahead now to Chennai Super Kings versus Rajasthan Royals. We've said all the teams now seem to be running into Glenn Maxwell and uh, coming coming up second best. And both these teams have suffered at the hands of Glenn Maxwell. They have one win each and one defeat. How do you see this game shaping up, Ajit? Uh, good contest. I think again, you know, when you play against Chennai, they start favourites in all their games. I mean, you look at any of the other seven teams, and on paper, Chennai, when they start the game, uh, will be favourites. They're playing at Dubai where only two games have been played and the scores have been uh, completely different in both those games. One's been a low scoring affair, the other's been a biggish chase. So, uh, you know, we'll have to see. It'll be interesting to see how the wicket plays tomorrow, but closely contested. The good part about Rajasthan is they don't look a you know, massive team on paper. What they're doing well at the moment is batting well, uh, which is giving their bowlers which uh, which doesn't look great on paper, the bowling attack, uh, a little bit of a chance. So once if they put the runs on board, so maybe uh, and Chennai like batting first. So I, I don't know what Rajasthan thinking because if they're batting well, they would prefer chasing, which kind of plays into the hands of Chennai a little bit. Close contest, you know, Watson's in great form. He's striking the ball well, which is a massive positive. Uh, but, you know, it, it's very difficult uh, not to have Chennai as favourites for tomorrow's game. You mentioned how the bits and pieces players pulled together for Rajasthan. One of the players who didn't have a very good game in, in the last match was Dhawal Kulkarni. He had a particularly bad over. Think Rajasthan might uh, press the panic button or it's just a one-off with Dhawal? I think he bowled well up till then. You know, I mean, one bad over in 2020 is almost acceptable these days. Unfortunately, when you end up losing the game, uh, it is a bit more glaring than otherwise. So, no, he bowled well in the first game for them. Uh, and he bowled well up to that point for them. So, and look, someone like a Miller or Maxwell at this point, the way they are striking the ball, uh, any bowler can go the distance on that particular day. So, no, I don't think so. I think uh, they have to bowl well as a unit. And uh, frankly, on paper, the bowling doesn't look as strong. You know, I mean, Watson's not bowled. If, if he starts bowling well for them, it's add adds another option because he has the experience to do it in different situations. Uh, but as I said, you know, the positive for them at the moment, which they can take, is uh, that their batting's firing, which is a big plus for them. A big blow for Chennai ahead of that uh, the previous game when uh, Dwayne Bravo was ruled out for the tournament, which meant they had to change something that they're very comfortable doing, having a lot of all-rounders in the middle. It used to be Albi Mokil in previous seasons and uh, Dwayne Bravo in the last couple of seasons. Now they just have one of them left, and that's Ravindra Jadeja. Ashwin, I, I think I almost classify Ashwin as an all-rounder. I mean, the way he bats, and even in T20 cricket or one-day cricket that he's batted in recent times, he's actually improved his shot-making uh, ability. So, no, they've they've got they've got a lot of depth in their batting uh, with Jadeja and and Ashwin. And you saw Jadeja play a couple of really good shots. But the top five or six are so good that uh, you don't really. Yeah, Bravo is going to be a massive blow. I think later in the tournament they might feel it a bit more uh, than at this point where they. There are other players that are in good form. The top two, if they fire, uh, generally McCallum and Dwayne Smith are going to put them in a super position if they fire at the top of the inning. And then you have Ryan who's a phenomenal T20 player, and Fav Duplessis and Dhoni are in really good form. No, I mean, this Chennai team just looks perfect. It, it kind of helped that Bravo was injured, that they could get Hilton House in the squad, uh, and he bowled really well for them. So, yeah, I don't see too many problems for Chennai at this point. So, two well-balanced teams and it, uh, Ajit's pick is that it's going to be a close game, probably an interesting game as well. Thanks for your time today, Ajit. Uh, good fun on the huddle. Look forward to having you again tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah. And you can stay in touch with us on Twitter. Uh, the hashtag is the huddle. We're on Facebook as well. It's facebook.com slash crickinfo. And uh, there's Crick IQ. The, the biggest uh, cricket quiz is out there for all of you to play. So, go ahead and prove your cricket quotient. See you again tomorrow on, a, on another edition of the huddle. Until then, it's goodbye.